Hey guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts. If you remember some times back, I did a tutorial about the IK Max, how you can rig fast with IK Max. All right, so and I promised to talk more about other props in the plugin, how you can use them. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can attach your props, your accessory to your character, so that such that it moves with the character. So when I talk about accessories, I mean clothes, um, shoes, hats, anything whatsoever, pants, anything you, you want to have attached to this object. So by the time you're animating, those objects also animate with it. So that is what this tutorial is going to be about. But before I get into the tutorial, please, I would like to quickly clear the air. Um, I've been having um, a response from you and I really appreciate, God knows that I appreciate you. But then I also have people saying I'm too religious and I just quickly want to let you know that without God, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this. I'm not trying to preach to anybody, but it is just who I am. I cannot be ingrate. I'm, I cannot be an ingrate and not be grateful for what he has done for me. I know, I know very well that I wouldn't be here if not for God, I would have been long dead or somewhere else i wouldn't maybe not think to even be doing this so i just really want to clear that uh, if you don't really like that about me please do i i would really appreciate i beg you to please just manage and just um i don't know i'm i'm trying my best to give the quota that i have to the world and i know who is giving me this so i just want you to please bear with me so let's just get into the tutorial so i don't take much of your time so i already have this character which i have rigged so i'm not going to be talking about how to rig this i already did a tutorial about how to use ik max to rig this object so if you look at this you can you have this object animated so if i go to my plugin and i bring up my ik max so this ik max is looking for an object to fill into this place so i already have my object that I have rigged with um, IK Max. All I just need to do is just click here and select the guy and I'm back here. So if I choose this and I move this object, you see everything is fine. I can move this guy. Then if I want to go back to my T pose or my, I'll just click on this T, it takes me back to my base pose. So I'm going to put a link in the description to how I, how to make use of the IK Max, how to do this rig. If you have not watched that so let's look at putting this object so that's i have my props here so if i put on my props i have these props that i want to add to this so right now if i go to this leg so let's start with the um hat there about so if i go to this hat and you see the hat is just very simple object so if i go to this um, head controller and i rotate this okay so I think I've already done this, so that should not be. So let me just get rid of that. So let's see. So if I go to the head controller and I rotate this guy right there. So I'm sorry. If I rotate this, notice the head, is, the heart isn't rotating with it. And how can we do it such that the heart rotates with it? So. What you need to do is select your prop, what you want to attach. So if you click on this hat, which I want to attach, there is an icon here to attach to an object. So if I click on this icon, so it brings up this. It tells me what do I want to attach this hat to. So I know I want to attach it to the head. So if I click on this head, it goes away as if nothing happens. So if you click it, notice what happens. It creates a constraint tag to this object so if i click on this now and i rotate you see that the hair the heart is attached to that character so the same way i have an object right here so if i click here and i move you notice the supposed um wrist watch is not attached so the same way i'm going to select the watch and let me just bring this up I'll select the watch and also click on this link. So I want to link it to this. You can either link it to the wrist or to the arm. Anyone works fine. So if you check this and you move this, you can see that it moves this object 
well but now you notice this goes away so you modeling your object you want to also make sure that this is set well so that's for that so let's look at the um shoes you could also make use of this you could also make use this method click here and go to attach and pick whatever leg you want to attach it to so i want to show you another way you can do that is by using this last icon so if you select the shoe the right shoe and you click on notice this is the right shoe if i move this leg right now you notice nothing happens sorry if i select this and i move the shoe is not attached to it so what we're going to do is we click on the shoe and you click on this last icon it tells you what you want to make of it so i want to make this the right shoe so i click on the right shoe it does its thing and puts it in a hierarchy that it, it understands so it's trying to do that so that has been done it skins that with the leg and this is a, a more efficient way than using this the reason is because if i'm to bend then the shoe also will bend it will help get that so if i had used this bending the object wouldn't have worked well do you understand so let's see if i click on this now and i move you notice this goes if i select this and i try and rotate you, you can see that you also have that shoe bending with it because it's automatically skins that shoe to that so i'll do the same thing with the left shoe i will go to this and choose the left skins that's also to that leg so we'll now look at the cloth and just end with that so that's pretty much everything with so since this is a short cloth you want to select that shirt then you click on this so it tells you whether it's going to be a short or a long shirt or a long sleeve so since this is a short sleeve so i'm going to pick this as soon as i pick this and that will skin that to this so if i select this and i rotate now see what happens okay so by the way i created this in marvelous designer so i brought it here for this presentation so that's pretty much how you can um attach your character to attach your props to your character for animation so if you feel this was helpful i just felt i should quickly show you this and then i'm going to do one more tutorial about ik max and just talking about this um target tag for i so if you want to you want the eye to target to this so that will be in a separate tutorial so if you feel this was helpful please do give me a like and a thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel please do subscribe because i do tutorials like this every time so once more i really appreciate you guys for your support for your um comments and all that so i i, I really so much appreciate that so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye